what's going on guys welcome back it's been a while i know and i apologize um life life has been interesting uh up and down so i'll give you an update on what i'm doing and what's been going on so at the beginning of the year i was kind of lost a little bit my you know my passion for training was still there but i just kind of i didn't have a direction of where i was going so um i i found out i was just training but i didn't know what i was training for i mean i felt good but you know it was kind of what was the goal um fast forward to you know uh a uh, few months, uh, I did a video with Craig, Team Richie, bodybuilder versus CrossFitter, and that introduced me to the world of CrossFit. Um, I know a lot of people are into fitness or into bodybuilding, probably have unsubscribed by now. And, um, you know, a moment, <laughs> already lost a lot of hundreds of subscribers just by saying that. But, you know, I was very close minded to it. So, uh, I decided you know why not i gave it a shot and it was tough you know uh, some of the stuff they do is crazy um that opened my eyes a little bit but i was still hesitant about it and what people would think you know one of those you know not doing stuff because of what other people think but i kind of was intrigued and i went into some of you know the metcon workouts and then i started looking into weightlifting um and watching a lot of weightlifting video and thinking wow how do they do that i want to do that so you know fast forward a few months you know around may i decided to do that crossfit video which is on my channel with tom again we did a metcon workout and i enjoyed it but one thing i found when i did some of the metcons was my endurance and athleticism <laughs> was shocking uh i just you know i was out of breath too quickly i couldn't run i'm not gonna lie to you i tried to do a mile run and i had to stop halfway through and you know that oh, that made me feel like wow i, sh I shouldn't be I sh i'm supposed to be the epitome of fitness and i can't run a mile without getting out of breath my timing was terrible and um that slowly kind of started, I slowly started doing more Metcons, doing more cardio, um, endurance-based workouts, and started practicing weightlifting. And this was all in May, June. Um, and I actually have a couple of videos up on my Instagram when I started and uh, the rest is history. Now, before I go on, I just clarify, a lot of people think that I've, you know, I've gone 100% into CrossFit and weightlifting. Yes and no. I uh, I still bodybuild. I love bodybuilding. It's, it's my passion. But I've come to the conclusion that, or the belief that, you don't have to choose one or the other. Back in, the, you know, I, before I was so close-minded and, you know, I was worried about what other people th thought if I started trying out different types of training that I restricted myself. And... Honestly, that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Um, I realized that I was living, I was, I was scared of what people would think if I tried it. And that, was, that stopped me. And honestly, in May, when I decided, like, I, I mean, I still was a little bit hesitant. I didn't even talk about it much. I just kind of slyly was training, but not saying anything. And I remember... I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm more than just the body. I want to be more than the body. I want to, this is why I got my hashtag. I want to break the mold. I want to be a bodybuilder and I want to be able to do CrossFit. And I want to be able to, you know, I want to be able to have endurance, athleticism. I want to be functional and I want to be able to weightlift. Why can't I do that? And that's when my, I came up with break the mold. Just, you know, don't have to be one thing. And honestly, the rest is history. My question was, can you be a bodybuilder and a crossfitter in terms of endurance, metcons and weightlifting? And you know what my answer is? Yes. You know, I'm. it's it's tough, you know, mixing both training together. But you know what? I'm absolutely enjoying it. I absolutely love it. My passion for training is, is just sky high. Um, and I regret not doing it earlier. 
So that's how it all began. And I did another video with Craig, which he titled The World's Biggest Crossfitter, which, uh, again, you know, I've had so much support from people, um, you know, on social media as well, um, on Instagram. I thought, you know, I honestly thought I would lose so many followers, which I probably did, but I've gained so much more. I have so much positivity. People are so positive. Um, the end of last year was a really bad point for me because I was being trolled a lot on social media and now and it's all positive. Um, a lot of people are watching and seeing how I progress and my goal is to be to show everyone that you can do both. You can, you know, bodybuild and do some functional work and add some weightlifting. Why not? Who says you can't? Who 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 is anyone to tell you you can't do something? And my, you know, one thing I've learned is don't live your life trying to impress other people. You know, for me, I want to be more than just showing my physique. Um, I want to, I, I want to show people that I, I can be aesthetic and functional and, you know, do a Metcon metabolic conditioning work and be all of those things. Um, and, and that's my goal. So honestly, since May, everything has been going awesome. The beginning of the year was a little bit crap. You know, I did lose my supplement brands. I'm no longer with my protein and I'm no longer with Pursue Fitness. Joined two awesome new families. So the first was Hustle Made, which is Craig's brand. And I'm just happy to be part of that. That's that of a team that is passionate, you know, Craig and Jazz have been awesome. They've welcomed me. I went out to spend some weekend with them and we just had fun, just trained. And I've never had that. You know, I've been training for years. I've been in the industry for years and I've never been welcomed as much as I have with Craig and Jazz. And it's been awesome. Every box I've been into, they've all been welcoming. They've all been friendly. And it's crazy, you know, I'm still learning and everyone's happy to help me and teach me. And, you know, I train currently at the Royal Docks CrossFit um, and I have my other gym, my bodybuilding gym. So I have two gyms now, which is great because, you know, things, I'm mixing things up. So yes, I'm part of the Hustle Made team. Um, I wouldn't even say team, I'll say family. And it's been great. I can't wait for you guys to see it. We have so much videos and workouts together and just hanging around together that I will be recording and uploading but check out that video the world's biggest crossfitter because i was able to keep up with craig on that workout what well, a little bit i struggled with the last last workout but check it out i'll put the link uh on the description um for you guys to check out so yeah i've been doing a lot of i'm still doing my bodybuilding workouts so that's one thing i want people to know but i've just had to change the structure of my training um i am doing weightlifting a lot because that's my weakness and a lot of metabolic conditioning if you have not seen my instagram a lot of you who are from instagram would see would know and <laughs> how crazy my workouts have gotten since june everything has been going awesome i'm i'm happier you know i wasn't really happy beginning this year but i'm so much happier everything's going well I, and i'm happy that i wasn't too close-minded and not trying to experience something different and the second uh news of who i've joined also so yeah secondly i've also joined the gym shark family uh yeah which is just again another awesome news an awesome opportunity um just mirroring myself in the reflection <laughs> Uh, but no, seriously, it was when I got the message from them, I, I honestly, I wouldn't, I didn't even think that they would consider me because they have so many big names. So it was, um, a, a, a great surprise and I've already done photo shoots with them and doing another one that soon in November. So, you know, it's, it's been going well. I remember when they said to me, they love the fact that I do both and and they don't have anyone else who does that. So for me, that that was just awesome, you know, for them to say, you know, we want you because not, not only do you do bodybuilding, but you're different because you also do weightlifting, you're functional. And it's a great opportunity. There's a lot more opportunities coming up that I can't wait to share with you guys. But I'm um, honestly, you know, 
if I hadn't taken this step to be more open-minded and not be so close-minded, I don't think I will be where I am right now. So yeah, it's been, it's just been great. I can't, I really can't wait to share with you guys so much. I've got a lot of things planned, a lot of videos coming up on my progression with weightlifting, a lot of Metcon videos to share with you guys. And also my bodybuilding training. I still do bodybuilding. So I'm going to update my bodybuilding training videos, what I'm doing now. Try and share with you guys also, you know, my training split, what that consists of. Um, my diet also, because I've even more now than, in, than ever, I don't even can think about macros anymore, which is just, I know it's shocking, but now my focus is just on fueling myself for training. You know, if I know I've got a heavy session, I fuel myself for that, but I'll try and, you know, record that for you guys. So I can't wait to introduce you guys to my new world, to the new, you know, OB slash old OB. <laughs> um, I've got some videos planned with Craig again that I hope to share with you guys and some instructional videos because I on my Instagram a lot of people have been asking me how I've improved my mobility and you guys should check it out if you haven't uh my Instagram is on the description I put some mobility videos up and I've put some of my progress training in terms of weightlifting but I'll try and do more on YouTube and vlog a lot more and just try and be more interactive uh the next step is I want to do a Q&A so um, because I know a lot of you would have so many questions and I want to answer as much as I can I know a lot of you are intrigued by it and or you know a lot of you want to know how I'm getting on I would what I would love to answer those so um, maybe yeah write write the questions on the description below um, for so I can do a Q&A for my next video of anything you guys want to know I can't wait to share with you guys all the training from you know the weightlifting to the Metcons to the bodybuilding. There's so much. More traveling next year, more work with Gymshark and the other opportunities to come. Uh, and yeah, thank you for being patient. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And so please follow my Instagram because I put a lot of updates on there until I do a new training video. Your support has been awesome. Hope to bring you guys into my world a lot more and become more confident in front of the camera. As you know, I hate being in front of the camera. Uh, I hope to catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.